So Love and Hip Hop New York Season 10 aired Episode 1 and Episode 2 on December 16th of 2019. Before the show even aired, I had made a video which I'm going to post the link to in the description box as well as the comment section. Make sure you check out that video, click the thumbs up button and leave a comment on the video if you watch it. I had said that the season was going to be boring, not in my opinion, but I, but y'all were going to consider it to be boring because there weren't going to be fights on it. You know, the advertisers don't want that on the show and whatnot. And, you know, VH1 is really trying to hold back as far as fights, whether they're staged or real, which I don't think there's ever been a fake fight on Love & Hip Hop. But pretty much, you know, they don't want to put that type of stuff on their show. That's not what they're trying to promote and whatnot. So... <laughs> which some of y'all might say me yeah they are trying to promote it but anyways so season 10 episodes one and two aired they had the lowest the lowest ratings of the of a season premiere ever and i'm going to show you guys some numbers okay so homecoming which is episode one and messy boots which was episode two which both aired december 16th of 2019 Homecoming or episode one of Love and Hip Hop New York season 10 got 1.47 million as far as ratings are concerned. I think that's a million and 470,000 viewers. And then the second episode, a million and 41, a million and 410,000, if I'm not mistaken. That's how it works. And some of you might say, well, that's better than most of these shows are doing. Yes, it is. But listen to this, okay? While that may be true, that that's better than most of these other shows are doing. Let's go back to 2018 for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 9 and see how the numbers compare. Episode 1 was titled Arrested Development. It aired November 20 it aired November 26 of 2018 and they got 1.85 million viewers. On December 3rd of 2018, Love and Hip Hop New York Season 9 aired Episode 2 The Blame Game was the title of the episode and it got 1.61 million viewers so yes ratings are down a couple hundred thousand people tuned out so far and for the record what was it was it episode five of love and hip-hop new york season nine i'm pretty sure it's episode five got 0.90 so less than a million i'm talking about of love and hip-hop new york season nine which does not mean that vh1 is doing anything wrong vh1 puts on a hell of a show they do a, an incredible job it's just that people don't watch tv the way that they used to also not only do people not watch tv the way that they used to people will watch the show but they watch it on the internet people are distracted they have to compete with the radio the internet you know youtube uh, books for people who would rather read uh, people who are going out and doing other things and whatnot but you know vh1 is amazing they're my favorite network and i hope that they figure out how to get pe more people to tune in. I don't want Love and Hip Hop to be canceled, but that's what some people were saying on social media, which I completely disagree with. Some people were saying they're trying to end out on a high note by bringing everybody back. They're going to end because it's 10 years meet. This is it. This is the end. And I'm thinking like, really? Now, how in the hell could y'all say that when they have four Love and Hip Hops going every year? The original Love and Hip Hop New York, which became Love and Hip Hop rather the original love and hip-hop which became love and hip-hop new york love and hip-hop atlanta love and hip-hop hollywood and love and hip-hop miami also they tried to expand to love and hip-hop houston which you know of course blew up you know love and hip-hop in texas is a bad idea because people are, are real crazy real dumb out there so you know that didn't work out too well but at the end of the day, they have four Love & Hip Hops going every year. Two that run simultaneously, which of course are Love & Hip Hop New York and Love & Hip Hop Miami. Love & Hip Hop Miami is coming back. I think it's January 6th of 2020. January 6th, I'm pretty sure. And my baby Jocelyn Hernandez is making her big return. So we'll see how that turns out. It'd be funny if Love & Hip Hop Miami had higher ratings than Love & Hip Hop New York. But I don't think that's going to happen because Love & Hip Hop Miami is everybody's least favorite there's no real star to show you know trina can't be a star because nobody cares about trina's rapping nobody cares about her career nobody cares about her her annoying voice but 
I guess that's why they're putting Jocelyn on the show so then that way Jocelyn will be the real star. But Jocelyn lost a lot of momentum by being off TV for years now, three years or so. However, three to four years. But with that said, many people miss Jocelyn and we love her. So I can't wait for her to come back. I think that she's going to save Love and Hip Hop Miami. They need to put her on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I, w- I, I heard she's going to be there for season nine. I heard she's a star, but that doesn't mean it's true. But congratulations to VH1 for having a reality TV show that lasted 10 years. Can you freaking believe it, y'all? That's incredible. So shout out to VH1. And what do you guys think? Do you think this is the end or the beginning of the end for Love & Hip Hop? I hope it's not. I hope it's just the beginning. You know, I wish there many more seasons. I hope the show lasts for 20 years or longer. I think that pretty much Love & Hip Hop has given us more memorable moments than, you know, any other reality show in the history of reality TV more than the real world, you know, not to talk down on MTV or anything, but more than any other reality TV show in history, more than the Real Housewives. Love and Hip Hop is the greatest reality show of all time. So shout out to them. And what do y'all think? What do you think is going to happen with the show? Let me know in the comments. And for those that listen all the way to the end of the video, the password to say in the comment section is this. Love and Hip Hop is forever. That'll let me know you listen all the way until the end. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Is the end just the beginning or is it the middle? <laughs> let me know. And I hope Love and Hip Hop lasts forever. That's why the password is Love and Hip Hop is forever. You know, like Wu-Tang, like Wu-Tang is forever. Yeah, just like Wu-Tang's forever, Love and Hip Hop's forever. But unlike Wu-Tang, Love and Hip Hop is not for the children. All right, y'all. click the subscribe button right now for more Meat Magazine. Click the notification bell, all notifications. Click the thumbs up button on this video. Post the comment below the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to all the Meat Magazine channels for more videos. The links to my other channels are in the description box.